Put the saddle on my shoulder. We're saddled Welcome, up. folks, to another uh, exclusive interview here at the PCA. We have Brian Massard here of, as you can see, Cattle Baron Cigar Line, and he's a real cowboy. I'm That's glad so we were able to cut you off at the pass. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, welcome, and thank you for giving us a little bit of your time here today. We're hoping the show has been really exciting for you, because I know everybody seems to be talking good on their end. How are things coming on your end? How did all this come together, and how about the whole cow cowboy idea? Um, I'm looking for the cowgirl, but I haven't seen her yet. Uh, <laughs> she's at home. <laughs> all right, good. Smart man. She's watching. <laughs> Somebody, somebody's got to chase the cows while I'm there away. There you That's go. Right. All right, well, the sheep and all that stuff. Tell us, how did this all come about? Uh, I've been trailing cows and smoking cigars my whole life. And okay. so just a passion for cigars, love cigars. We grew up with cigars. And just had the good fortune of running into Phil Zangie. Wow. And uh, we just had we just Phil had... on, and uh, of course, everybody's running to Phil these days. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> running. So, what a great partner to have in this thing. And and uh, we give cigars every We We raise 600 registered Angus cows. Wow. And we cool. feed about 6,000 head of cattle all winter long for other people in our cells. And we're wow. selling our own box beef in New York every month. We're in New so, York. Tell me. That's in New York. I got to know. All, all five boroughs. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So if you ask for reminisce Angus beef, uh, Casanova Meats is our distributor now, and we're shipping a semi load every month there. Just getting it's a brand new, brand new business that we just got started. Great. That's a dream. And a semi, wow, getting yeah. out there. So well, they need it in New York. There's yeah. a lot of beef feeders. Oh yeah. Oh, they're, they're on. They're on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we like the meat. So. <laughs> yeah. well, well, that's who we New are. New York Strip. I mean, New York Strip. There you go. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Well, be, I'd love to see you guys having our meat and, and eating our steak in New York. Wouldn't that be fun? Right, so what, what, time be, what time is dinner? <laughs> what time is dinner? <laughs> Where's the campfire? We didn't see that ready. Scott, you got the campfire ready to go. <laughs> anyway, so how did this all come about, though? I mean, uh, from beef to cigars. Yeah. Well, so we give we sell about 170 bulls every year. We have a bull sale. So you've heard of certified Angus beef. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, we raise the seed stock, kind of like the Cuban seed. We're the seed stock, a real high marbling beef. So wow. anyway, we really like high quality stuff. We give away cigars at our bull sale every year. Our customers just love it. They come to the bull sale, they smoke cigars, and we have a special lot every year that they, they buy that. If they buy that bull, they get a box of our bull cigars. Oh, and so we great we're idea. Just always great, great marketing strategy, really. And it's, and it's a win-win. Oh, it is. It's a win-win. It's a win for everybody. But we got, you know... When I first contacted Phil, you know, I was just like, you know, I want to have, I want to have our own cigar. Is it possible? And we kind of went back and forth. We spent two years on this blend, he and I, and he was really frustrated with me by the end of it because he thought, <laughs> he thought I was just some right. rich guy in Montana. Giving him some bull. My, right. Yeah, giving you, <laughs> giving him some bull. That's yeah. it. But it wasn't. <laughs> no. And when he found out I had a, I want a real specific taste, man, he worked with me for two years. And this is our 13th blend that we came up with. And we just said, hey, wow, that's it. That's we got it. it. And he came up and spent a week with us. And we put him on a horse and we chased some cows. And he found out that we're real. You know, we're, <laughs> right. we live the deal and we just love cigars. And he got behind the brand. And the rest is history. We're, this is our fifth show. Oh, you know, is it? So oh, it's our okay. fifth year five and, years. So you've been around for five years. See, it's interesting. When I walked over to you, I said, you know, when I passed your booth, I'm like, I've never heard of this thing. I don't know. And it's got a 91 rating. I mean, we have to go and talk to these Absolutely. guys. And we have to get the word out to our folks like, hey, there's other brands out there that you don't know about that you got to try. Yeah. So we're looking forward to trying it. We're, we're like. I heard so the notes were like beans on an open fire. <laughs> I've, I've heard barnyard. I've heard hay. It's going to be hay, sure. Well, yeah. we got a little bit of stuff behind us. Yeah, How yeah. about telling the crowd? What do we got? Let's start with the little guy. Well, so this, all of our cigars are named after ranching cattle things. These are the little doggies. The little, the little doggies. doggies. Four by 36. Show so that a little closer there. Like in our the video that doggies. we're playing, we're, we're always trailing cows somewhere. So get along, little doggies. So that's the get name of our little one. You know, right. the old, we grew up with those spaghetti westerns and they all of had course. the little, little doggy. So we got the little doggy and then we've got the cowboy. Cowboys so, coming your way. Co the, the cowboy. So Here we course. go, folks. Take a look at that brand. That's our most popular size in Montana because it's cold most of the year and so you don't have that much, much time, time to stand outside and right. do that and then then we have the bull cigars because we're in the bull business and we sell angus bulls every year that's our big boy that's the the 
four and a half by 58 ring gauge. Four, so it's kind of nub nubbish. Yeah, yeah, it's a long nub. Long is nub. What it is. And nice. then we have our two most popular brands we're actually sold out of. We're always oh, sold out really? of okay. so, Wow, that's well, good that's news. Because they're popular. Exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> one of them is the Stockyard. That's our Robusto, five and a half okay. by 52. And then the other one's the Trail Boss. That's our big one. That's a six and a half by 54. Oh, uh, nice. And so lots of the coastal, the coastal market wants the big ones. And right, sure. Stockyard is just kind of, you know, it's the ranch, it's the corrals, it's, you know, you're selling cattle, you're marketing, so we name that the Stockyard and the Trail Boss, you know, it's payday, you know, you have that. Yeah. So right. we just really have tied all the names into who we are and what we're about. Great and idea. people just love those. And so right. it's one blend. It's a Nicaraguan Dominican filler with a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper on it. Okay. That's, gotcha. our, that's our that's blend. That's your blend, right. So there's, there's five sizes. They smoke like a family. They're, right. they're all very, very similar. Then we came out with a Maduro two years ago. So we put a San Andreas Maduro on the bull, okay. the stockyard, and the trail boss. Okay. And that's it. That's who we are. That's who we're always going to be. You'll never have 10 lines of cattle burn. Right. There you go. You this is it. You this is it. where you're at. That's who we are. Plus, I see a deck of cards for the guys when they got nothing to do. When they, they, <laughs> they gathered all their, uh, yeah. when they, they gathered all their horses and cows <laughs> and everything, and <laughs> drinking and smoking at night. And then that's right? when that's when the real bull begins. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, right. They're starting to play. Uh, <laughs> do they play old maids still? I don't think <laughs> I don't so. Think <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think it's more poker. But, well, I you never so, know right? what's going on. Guys, it's, it's poker. It's oh, poker. Yeah. yeah. It's poker. That's why I said a lot of bull happening there. Texas, <laughs> Texas uh, hold them. Is that how it is? Texas hold them. <laughs> yeah, I'll play a little of that in Montana. There you go. This is a fantastic setup. I love the idea. And I, I think with this whole Pretty original, uh, yeah, original, it really is. But it's original. I think you are going to make a big name in the cattle world itself because people, they can relate to this out there. Right. Are you finding other farms or other people trying to reach out we to you? Do. We do. There's lots of other ranchers that we've they found us on the internet social media there through, you go. through deals just like this people see us on and they say who are these guys what are these guys and so we've got ranchers and farmers that have just been calling from different states all over that right. they, they have them That's they'll great. send us pictures we had one we had uh, two guys from north dakota ordered cigars they're one guy's in the bull business and they sent me a picture they got a card table sitting right in the middle of their bullpen. The bulls are all standing around behind them, and they're sitting there smoking their cigar. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. That People is pretty it. cool. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's a great gimmick. I, I love it. I, I think that I, I really think you got something good here because it's absolutely different than everything else. Unique. Anything that I've seen. And everybody, it is, it is. I would imagine, even as a New York City guy, I think I would sit down and enjoy this. How about and, those ranchers from Midtown Manhattan? Are you getting a lot of orders from them? <laughs> well, we're getting a few orders from them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't need our. They don't want our cigars. They want our beef. So we're yeah, right. yeah. Where's the meat? That's yeah. what I want to know. Tell the people how can they reach out to you? How can they get their Go line? Is a brick and mortar or online order? You can, uh, CattleBaronCigars.com is our website. Uh, you can order right off the website, right from us directly. You can order. We have all of our stores in every state are on the website. So if you're in a right. state or near an area, we really like our brick and mortars. Phil and I talked when we very first started. He said. You know, your brick and mortar is your bread and butter. Don't right. ever let them down. Yeah, and absolutely. we've had a couple of them. We've had a couple of them. We got started. Say, if we ever find your cigars online, you're done. Right. And so that's our commitment. That's right. our commitment. So is, your price, is, you're, 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 you're guaranteeing that you're not going to undercut them online ever. ever. So never. that's important to a brick and mortar store. Right. We'll never, we'll be out of business before we ever do that. Exactly. Because what's the, the people that built us, the people that invested in us when nobody knew about us, that's who basically we you want to care yeah, it. And we, to. We, we do that with our bulls we take care of our customers and then let them go advertise for us and that's our that's business true. model yeah. well true. you're a smart man that's the way to do it that's how to build respect loyalty and a great future yes before i say goodbye to you kyle is there any way that you can just take the tripod and, get, and just you know check out the, check out check the, out the out saddle saddles. check out the whole oh, yeah, line we have up a saddle here, here. We're, saddle we're, up. we're over we here on the been, ranch we, we should have just said saddle up folks get ready for this one because Truly, it's a hot smoke indeed. It is. It is. It is. You can't get any more unique a booth. It's a really. great idea. It, was cool. it really is. And that's it really a, is. the authentic part of it is that that's a retired saddle of ours. Those are my shafts. My kids took my, <laughs> they said, hey, those shafts are old enough. You need to stop wearing them. Use them for your cigar booth. And they got me new shafts. They might for have been a birthday. little bit worn. They were a little bit worn, but so, but that's the real stuff from the ranch. That's fencing. That we use. I mean, we've got a friend awesome. that built all that for us. So that's it's awesome. Cool. That's just great. Very cool. Brian, 
Brian. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you your guys. time. Yes, it was great, it. man. And I wish you all thank the you best. Very, very much, we Brian. hope to see you in the future and yes. uh, help promote and thank do you very much. And send those porterhouses up to our room, would you? All right. You're just telling us. We'll do. Thank you. They'll be raw, though, Bob. That's all right. We'll make. We got. We got. Well, lighters. we got lighters. Hey, 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 we take lighters. it outside. It's a hot, it's hot a dry enough. We can put it on the tarmac. Put them on a plate <laughs> on the tarmac. Uh, already. Folks, it's 120 <laughs> out there. I'll do okay. one better. I'll do one better. Here we go. You guys, if you don't want them raw, you come to Montana and I'll cook them for you. Woo! I'm going to ride my bike out that <laughs> way, all right, next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, folks, Brian from Cattle Baron, a 91 rated cigar. Find it in your local uh, brick and mortar. Brick and mortar. Or ask for it if they don't. Get them. Um, five years in the making and 91. Good job. We'll Very be right back, back, folks. Stay with us. Thank you, Brian and Scott. Thank you.